Son of real estate market prices are going up and I am raising my prices. This is Jesse Kaplan, Toronto Realtor Mortgage Broker, and today I'm going to talk to you why I'm raising my prices on my listing of Toronto real estate. This is Yossi Kaplan, your friendly, usually Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, yossikaplan.com, trader.com, for Yossi Kaplan. And today I'm going to show you why I'm raising my prices. So first of all, urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main website where you'll find all the listings, assignments, new developments, I got a few sites. Twitter is where you'll find all the little updates, so if you want to see what's going on, just tune in here and you'll get all the updates in one place. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to go over some uh, new developments, we're going to go over some assignments, we're going to go over some MLS stuff, and I'll show you why I'm raising my prices. Okay, uh, let's start with this, the Treb Market Watch uh, for June just came out uh, today, July 4th. And look at this, what do you know? June 2019, uh, we had about 840 more sales. Uh, so it's about 10% more sales. And price are above just about 4%. This is in uh, a combined GTA. If you zoom in here, you will see that uh, the detached, we saw just a thousand, about a thousand detached home in the 416 and 3,200 in 905, total 4,225 detached home in one month. Semis, 886, townhouses, 1480, and of course, condos, there's most amount of them, 21, 49, 21, 50. Okay, so that's a good amount of sales, 86, 8,860 8, sales in total. The average home for a detached in the Toronto real estate market in the 416 is 1.3 million, the semi is 1 million, the townhouse is 800,000, the condo is 636 that's the average price for the 416 636 the 905 price is slightly lower 922 for the detached 694 for the semi 618 for the townhouse and condo is 483 and the total i don't really care for it because it's not really representative but you can see like an i should say average unit. okay it's not total it's average of the two area codes uh, in terms of change you'll see that the detached homes Although they're up in sales quite a bit, the price is stable. It's minus 1.4%. Um, the semis also sales are up, and they're up 5.3%. That's uh, a cheaper house category. The townhouses in the 416, and I've been telling you a long time about townhouses, the hottest commodity is still on 9.2% appreciation in price. Why am I raising my price on the Toronto condo and Toronto real estate? Because the price is going up. And the condo is 5 for 1 percent, very healthy. Okay, you want to keep it in the 5 percent. Three to five is uh, very good. Beats inflation just by a bit. Say inflation is about three points. So if I'm doing 9.2 points, I've been inflation by about six points. Five here, I've been inflation by two points. That's better than the incremental addition to your salaries you get, which are usually about two to three percent a year, and then half of that get eaten out by taxes and various things okay um, you can drill down here I usually don't do it you know that uh, but the most important thing is to understand that we have a healthy market in Toronto uh, we had close to 10,000 sales uh, in May so this is typical for the season and better from last year okay and the price also very good now why are prices going up and why I'm raising my prices on Toronto real estate well very simple there's nothing to buy the beats that price and everything else that's coming up is coming at a new higher price. I'll give you an example. This condo here I listed about three weeks ago, was $7.99. Just as uh, summer was starting, you know, we had a very long and cold spring. Uh, this video I'll have to update it because it's showing $7.99, but it's no longer the case. This unit is now $8.15, $8.15. So I'm showing you here before I go in in the blog and change it to $800. Okay, so I'll be changing here to 800. I don't know if we can change that uh, frame. I guess I could, um, depending on how it's done. But let me find... Um, okay, here's the listing, realtor.ca. I will copy that link for you. So the listing is live on MLS since yesterday. It's 815. Now, this is uh, 701 King Street West, unit 612. It's my listing. It's a beautiful condo complex built about 40 years ago. At Bathurst, King and Bathurst, large, nice units. And what we did here, we did a complete renovation, over $70,000 invested. 
we ripped out the kitchen, put a complete new custom kitchen in. It looks fantastic. High-end appliances. Uh, the fridge is connected to the power and the water. It makes ice and cold water. Uh, Samsung appliances. There is a there is a virtual tour. There's everything you need. Um, I literally uploaded this one, uh, re-uploaded yesterday with a new price. So I'll be putting some more pictures here. Uh, currently, this is a picture you can see, and you can see the quality and level of detail. Now, why am I raising the price here? Because the unit next to me, 610, which was uh, not upgraded and still looked somewhat like it looked 40 years ago. Most of it was not upgraded. Some floors and a lot of patches of upgrade, uh, no uniformity. Um, sold for 752, 752. I was listed at 799, say 800, and a difference of $41,000 is not enough to show the amount of effort and actual cost went through the renovation. So if I take the 752 and add 70 or more, because we did that, you know, this is our own crew that did this renovation. So if I were to contract this out, this rental probably cost me 85. So I'll probably, you know, save 15 or 20,000 on the rental. Nonetheless, this unit priced at 815 is probably below its actual value. The other reason, we, we, there's two more reasons why we raised the price. Number one is we wanted, to, we wanted to get off the bottom feeders. What that means is if you're bidding at the 750, uh, some buyers, and that's totally fine, that's legit, will try to bid um, lower. They'll look for units in the 780 to, 7, to 800 range, you know, 780, 785, 789. 790, 795, 799, and try to underbid at 750 because that's all they can afford. I want to get rid of these guys um, just because I want to make sure that I'm not even on the, on the radar. Therefore, the moment I start my search at 8, knowing that this type of population is only searching from, say, 699 to 799, I'm not even going to show up on their search. So, yes, I'm going to get less searches, maybe showing less searches. Nonetheless, that's the real value of this unit. And we'll do a quick comparison here, and you'll see that you can get nothing else for that size. Mind you, this is about an 1,100 square foot unit, uh, give or take. It's got an in-suite storage. It's got full two bedroom, two bathroom. It's really got two separate apartments in it, if you like, and a very large uh, common area. Okay, and if you go to my uh, site here, I'll kill the volume. But you can see uh, the unit. So this is available, and I'll link the virtual tour. And you can see what we've done here with the unit. We have ripped out everything, including these old frames. Or inside the unit, there's these frames because uh, for the solarium, they're like movable frames. We took them out completely. Uh, we took out every cabinet, every closet, redid it. Uh, we took the pot lights in the kitchen and we did them. They had no pot lights. They had this really old, ugly thing. We just we chiseled and sculpted the ceiling. Um, all the work was done by licensed um, electrician, licensed plumber. All the trades are master crafters. So this is a legit job. Everything is brand new. Everything you see is brand new. The kitchen is brand new. The cabinets are brand new. The drawers are brand new. Um, we did not we, we did not change we just took it out completely and put a new thing in it all what you see is new the floors are new the kitchen the kitchen is new the appliances are, are new the closet the cabinets are new uh, there you go I just lost that shot here we go uh, these are California style closet we designed specifically for the unit the beautiful that the quiet closing the breaks jewelry drawer, a thing drawer, bathroom is lovely, lovely done, and the amenities in the building are fantastic, it's got an outdoor pool, it's got a huge five acre property with lots of uh, grounds and it's really taken well care of, that's an indoor pool, I believe it's a salt water pool, they've got a gym, this is one of the best, they got squash courts down there, they got a lot of great stuff in this unit, okay, so that's what I'm looking at here. And that's why we raised the price. Uh, the last reason we raised the price, of course, is because prices are going up. Okay? So if prices are going up and there is nothing else, why shouldn't I raise my price? So go to yossi.searchreview.co and I'll post this exact search. I'll copy it and post it in the comments for this video so you can follow along. But we, you are looking. Set your filters here. And you can 
second floor, two bed, two bath, and I was comparing 800 to 850, maybe even to 900,000, okay? First of all, you see there's not too many results. And when you get the results, one thing you'll notice right away, they're all very, very small in comparison to what I've got. Why? Because these buildings are new buildings, and new buildings tend to be smaller units because the price per foot goes up. That means that I'm selling at a much lower price per foot, about 20 to 30 percent less than others. So it's an amazing deal. So if I'm selling 1,100 square feet, $800,000 or maybe 815, you know, my price is still below 800 dollar foot mark. But here I'm paying a thousand to fifteen hundred a foot in these units, whether they're new construction, just finished, or from developer, I cannot find anything in King of Bathurst, new construction less than fourteen to eighteen hundred dollar a foot. That means that a eleven hundred uh, square foot unit will run you between one point three and one point one point five million. You can buy a house for that, but if you want to live in King West, that's what you get. So this is your opportunity to buy King West, okay? So uh, this is a small fridge. It's very nice, but it's really small. That's the problem with the unit. They are small. And because they're small and the new building, they cost more dollar per foot. Hence, the value that you receive sometimes when you get a renovated building, you don't have to do anything for the rental. And once again, if you want to rental and you need a rental, come to me and I'll help you, okay? Here's 438, uh, lovely unit, really gorgeous. And that's what you get for a similar amount of money. Okay. Now this one also, you see, it's 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 an old now it's an older unit. It might have been at the time, and it was like the best of the best. But now you look, it's kind of an older style. Okay, it's an older style. So if you wanted to bring it up to par, you still have to pay quite a bit of money to do that. Like if you want to replace the bathroom, with something more modern. Okay, or the kitchen. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a give and take. That's the Morgan 438. It's a lovely building, the Morgan. And it's uh, right at Spadina, so very close, a block away. Okay, so all the building, 900,000 here, and about the same size. So you're paying another, that's about 100,000 more. Okay, about 100,000 more for about the same size. Okay, so you see, you see what I mean, which is really important. Okay. Um, the condo fees and the tax is more or less the same here. So that's the closest comparable. So if you want to see 701 King and you want to see 438 Richmond, uh, give me a shout or fill in the, I want to see it, request uh, a showing and just punch it and I'll get an email and I can show it, okay? So why am I raising the prices? Because prices are going up. Let's look at the historic report which I refer to. So in 20, uh, you know, the 2017 was the highest year of records here, 822. But if you look at our price now, there's my uh, thing, I'm at 832. So that means that 2019 will break the record and you'll see a dip for 2018, but 2019 will be likely higher price than the highest ever achieved in the GTA. I say it again, 2019 is probably going to be the highest shoot of record for the GTA. So if you're looking to sell today, I would say do it because you're going to get a record amount of price. And I don't think that if you know, like hang in to longer, especially if your unit is an older or a B or a C location, not an A location like King West, Yorkville, or right at Young Street address, even even Young Street, there's so many buildings, so they may start to equalize because there's a lot of supply. Okay. So it's a good time to sell. Nonetheless, if you want to get in the market, you know, it's not going to go down. It's going to keep going slightly in a, in a lower rate. But it's still going to be a bit more next year. But if I'm selling and I want the money in my pocket, I might as well get the money in my pocket today because I can reinvest it and find higher gains. You'll see, where do I make higher gains? Okay, let me show you some examples of where I think the, the new markets are. Okay, uh, they can get you very, very high up there. Um, but if you're looking for uh, good living, you can go this one, or you can go our listing, and then you get more dollar per foot. Uh, sorry, more <laughs> the other way around, more square feet per your dollar. 
That's what I mean. Okay, so these are all the 900s because I'm sorting them now by latest. Let me sort uh, here. Let me sort by latest listing. So I got the 830, I got 819, and I'm here because these two were listed after me in the same category. Okay, so you can go on the fifth floor here. Two bed, two bath. They're just down the street. No pictures. Hopefully they'll add them. Um, and that's a very small unit, so that's well over a thousand dollar a foot. So that's twenty to thirty percent more than what I'm asking. That's a two bedroom unit in a seven hundred some square feet. That's tiny. Okay, I'm much larger. The unit we're offering are four to five hundred square feet larger than this one for less the price. Is it a good deal? I think so. Do you want to be in the Hudson? Great, but you're gonna pay more, a lot more. I'll uh, show you one more thing, Conroe.ca. You can come to this website here and get some averages. So if I look at the Toronto average, now it's giving me 776 based on all these numbers. Now remember Conroe.ca fluctuates a lot, so careful with it because it can really go up and down so much. However, you can also punch here, 701 King, and you'll come with the summit. There's three buildings in this complex, but we're looking at 701. And right now for sale, uh, there's a one plus one five fifty. There's eight fifteen. That's my listing, and this townhouse is still in the market here at one three five. Okay, uh, it will also give you an average dollar per foot for the building seven ten in the past year. So if I'm adding ten percent because the the past year I'm getting to close to eight hundred dollars foot, which is close to the price I'm asking. So you can see how. Statistically and mathematically, I think that my price is correct. And I believe, and I'm not the only one I've seen on MLS that raised the prices. I saw a unit at the uh, Harbor Front. Um, and if you're interested, uh, drop me a line. I'll send you the listing. It's active right now, it's live. And that unit was listed in the 680 uh, or so. And now they listed it at uh, just over 7. So they raised the price a little bit over the 7. Similar ideas, if you're searching for the 600, you're just not going to show up. And then we get rid of the bottom feeders with the low ball offers. So for my unit, if I'm going for, uh, here we are, if I'm going for the buyers that are looking at the 800, that's okay because I'm going to show up at the bottom of their search. Nonetheless, if I'm looking at the people that are buying in the 700s, I'm not going to show up. If they pop in, they're going to say, you know, I shouldn't really be bidding on this. It's not in my league. It's out of my range. And that's something that, to me, the listing agents, I work with a lot of buyers, that makes sense. Okay? Other deals I got for you here is 488 University. I got a one bedroom on a high floor, south facing, at 6495. Now, that's at 544 square feet, but this is a gorgeous building, and that's what it's worth. Maybe I'm actually discounted. I put all the uh, plans here, and there's actually even more. Um, I did a search for UC Capital 488 University just to see what comes up, and it's actually really cool that DuckDuckGo, you know, I try not to use Google too much because it tracks you. You use DuckDuckGo with the Firefox browser, and here there's another article. Thank you for all the 1,252 real estate investors visiting my page, by the way. Um, this unit here, the 544, not sure if it's this one exactly, but I think it's this one. I'll have to look it up. Um, but that's what you'll get for 649 right on top of the subway. So this is if you're a doctor, an executive, a government person, a surgeon, or you're a smart investor want to rent to these people, I think you, you can easily get $4,000 a month for six months at a time for this unit. That means that you're looking at close to $50,000 a year in income from this unit. That is very, very good. Okay, That is very, 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 very good. Um, another listing we have here, you know, and that's uh, 1,200 a foot. That's very cheap because across the street at 481 University, you're paying way more. You're paying 1,500 a foot. Okay, uh, 159 Wellesley, and I'm rushing here because I'm running out of battery on the laptop. Uh, 159 Wellesley East, I got a listing here, which is a one plus den with parking and locker and a nice floor with a nice view for 631. That's $1,000 a foot for now. This is the unit here. $1,000 a foot for now 
for this unit with the parking and locker room. A developer uh, may have a unit left. If they do, you're going to pay about seventy-seven to 100000 more for the same listing. I'll say it again. You're going to pay for the same listing from the developer, seventy-seven thousand to $100,000 more for the exact same thing. That's why you should buy this assignment. The moment you buy this assignment, you're already up to $77,000. And this way, you're actually um, sharing the gains with the person who sold you the assignment. So they bought the unit initially for so much, and now they're going to flip back the unit at a discount relative to the, to the market price, which is the price the developer is offering. The developer has just lost the unit, and we're still a year out from occupancy. Okay? So that's a very, very good deal. If you're smart, you're going to look into this one. If you're going to look at what's going on at East of Young, it's... it's there's probably 30 to 50 towers coming to East of Yon. Okay, so if you can get in today at a thousand a foot with parking and locker, that gives you about 900 foot with, with, without the parking net. That's an amazing price because there's nothing new is going to come in on the floor. Same here. You know, the moment this building, uh, I get the keys, I'm raising my price by another 50,000. I'm going to ask 699,500. Why? Because I can and someone will pay for it. So why not? There's nothing else. Okay, so it's supply and demand, supply and demand, and the market causes me to raise my prices. Okay, so I want to raise my prices because that's what I got to do. Uh, I got Crosstown for you, I got Galleria Mall coming in, Crosstown coming in the 900, but that's our upper DVP. I got explanation how to sell your Toronto Condo assignments, which is very, very important because if you want to be able to sell your Toronto Condo assignment, that's what you got to do. You got to read this, you got to call me, I'm going to help you. Terry Toronto Condo assignment, and he goes through lots of detail how to do it. And thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate that supporting and reading it's, its number one article here. Okay, uh, here you'll get direct. Uh, I did it fast, but you go to the scroll either the sidebar if you get a sidebar on urbanrealtytoronto.com, or you go on the very bottom here. There's so much information here. Uh, here, you just hit any of these links, it give you a live link to yossi.searchrealty.co. And you can see what's available for sale. Um, do you want to pay 600000 for one bedroom? There you go. So it's a nice loft, no balcony, one bedroom. It's a larger bedroom. That's why it comes at a bit of a discount because it's an older building, no amenities, you know, on and on and on. Okay, and let's look at the condo fees here. They're going to be, not bad, 447 So it's very good. That, that's actually quite affordable unit. That's a nice loft. Okay, so that's what happened. This is how you find some deals, and there are deals to be had. Okay, I will post. Uh, here's a fashion house, five twenty nine nine. If you can grab something in fashion house, it's still one of the best buildings. Uh, this unit is on the fifth floor, just above the keg for five twenty nine. You don't get much view, but you do have the light. You'll have a bit of view of like the skyline of King West. You are facing south. You'll get a lot of light, and of course you get access to the Toronto's most famous pool. And sometimes it gets a little crazy there on the weekend. Okay? So that's what you're looking at. And you're looking at uh, $400 a month in uh, condo fees, maintenance fees, and only 2000 in property tax. So that's less than 200 So this unit carries for you know, 600 bucks a month if you pay for it cash. Very, very, very good. Okay? On and on and on. That's where you go. 725 King. That's uh, some in the third phase, and they'll be discounted because it is a smaller unit, all the building, and this one is not being renovated. Okay, that's that's still original. It, it, no, I take that back. It has been renovated, um, but they still have that closure, this enclosure which we open. Okay, I like it open because that's the new stuff. Okay, friends, that's it for today. I'm raising my prices. I'm raising my prices on Toronto. Condos. I'm raising the price because the Toronto real estate market is going up. It will continue going up. The reason is because of inflation, which is built into the economy. If you don't understand it, you need to learn this. The second is because supply and demand. The demand is always high because of immigration, natural immigration, people coming from outside of Canada, people moving from the small towns. And I'm holding my hand here so you can hear me better. Uh, from small towns. To the cities and because Canada is very very inexpensive in comparing to other countries because our dollar is so low 
okay um, how much is 800,000 Canadian dollar to USD it's only 612 it's only 612 so if you come from another country and you're an immigrant and you got 600 and some thousand dollars to spend you get 800 Canadian thousand Canadian dollars for this 800,000 okay that's what's happening that's why it's so good to come to immig immigrate here it's a great country happy Canada Day it's a lovely place to live I don't mind the mosquitoes up north it's all good we're very very lucky fortunate to be here and I'm grateful for it and appreciate it I hope you do too nonetheless what you're gonna see in the economy is the prices will keep rising okay I'm telling you a lot of stuff I'm telling you how to make real estate money off Google and Shopify that's a crazy video I'm telling you like crazy deals I'm showing you what to do I'm showing you assignments you can still pick up an assignment at Nobu for price that I'm absolutely sure they will double in the next seven to eight years the moment Nobu will complete the price will shoot up like crazy and then okay and when the price shoot up like crazy you know it's gonna pull the entire market around it okay how to buy real estate with a partner that's a good video explain if it's too expensive how can you team up with someone okay how to flip houses we're looking at these old houses that sell for you know we found a house listed for five ninety nine six ninety nine seven nine eight ninety nine and those houses made a good flip and they need a renovation so if you have if you want to buy the house and you have cash for renovation then mind you a typical Toronto home will need about two hundred thousand in renovation so you gotta have that cash you cannot mortgage that but you can make some good money here you can do some good work should you invest outside Toronto well if it's Toronto is too expensive for you we have options in Grantford Hamilton Wealth Kitchener Waterloo okay in other areas even Oakville very very good Ontario is fair game especially west of Toronto that's where I would look okay you want to stay in the GTA go to Crosstown 900 some bucks a foot go to Galleria Mall you know go to the nice large uh, development buy an assignment because you can still get a deal ask me tell me what you got is it still a good this is one of my most uh, uh, watched videos okay um, I showed you the 608 Richmond one unit was 509 I showed you on a video it sold a couple of days ago for asking and immediately the units after sell for 550 to 588 they're asking and they're selling for 550 to 570 for the exact same units and you could have bought two weeks ago for 509 so the price on them went up by 15 percent literally overnight because supply is not enough demand is high and people are still buying fully renovated this is an amazing deal I got for you here this is a fantastic deal okay but we don't like the low ballers so that's what we did 159 Wellesley a thousand bucket foot 631 square feet with parking and locker fantastic you're saving about a hundred grand here for the H inverter you're saving at least 50 grand if not a hundred compared to the price I believe it's gonna be worth in a year from now because the bills are gonna close the price is gonna shoot up for some people go oh my god this is the address this is where I want to live I'll pay anything to be in this building okay this is how it works my friend that's what you gotta do you gotta acquire now because the price will come up Toronto is going up you can still find deals but every time I show you the deals somebody buys it a smart investor buys it with me or another realtor and then the next one will pay a little more and then more and more but it adds up it adds up to what you see here. look at this guy so serious it adds up okay it adds up adds up we invest in real estate today the more is more find the deals look for the deals now there's some people who are sent deals to and they completely reject them one of them not good not good not good well that person when a deal comes may not be able to see it okay because I'm not gonna send you junk I'm gonna send you the real good stuff I looked at it I spent my time I spent 20 years of experience and third generation in the business telling you I think this is good pay attention okay so pay attention my friends if you need to buy, if you need to sell, I want you to contact me first. I'll give you good advice, I'll give you honest advice, and I'll tell you exactly what I think. That's it.